Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth. Welcome back to Live Craft and Love. Uh, today I'm going to do my second tutorial video on how I did some of the embellishments that were on previously on my channel. The one we are going to be working on today is this altered um, heart clothespin. It's made out of not chipboard but layered uh, cardstock, and this is the one we're going to be working on. So, um, if you would like to learn how to make this, I did pick up this tutorial from Tamika from Scrap the World, so I will link her tutorial down below. Um, but I am going to do it kind of like the way I did. I followed pretty much to the T, but I kind of tweaked up. I'm not using the same flowers or anything like that. So um, please stay tuned so that way you can learn how to create this. Hope you enjoy. Now, the first thing that I, um, I'm gonna tell you is I do not have paper punches. I think I mentioned that in the previous video below. So what I did is I just searched a heart image on my um, laptop on Google and I inserted that into my Cricut and what I did is I cut out this heart image it's about a two inch diameter by by two inches tall and I cut out several pieces as you can see from a hundred ten pound cardstock uh, it does not have to be pink it could be any color because you're going to cover it anyway um, it just so happened that this is what I had in, in my stash so I cut you cut out several of these and you do also cut out design paper um, in the same size and shape so since I don't have a paper punch I just put it in my Cricut ran it through and cut those out now the design paper I did decide to use for this tutorial is Rom Prima Romance Novel the two sheets that I used as you can see there's my proof I put it through my Cricut it was this beautiful little rosebud one and this one right here so these are the two sheets that I'm going to be using in my um, clips today now when you cut out your or punch out your images make sure it's heavyweight cardstock you're going to layer three of these on top of each other like you're going to glue one on top of another so let's go ahead and start with that and now i am using a fabri tac glue i just find it a lot easier to work with um, and i'm going to just cover it generously on the bottom and layer one on top of the other making sure that they're completely even nothing out of out of place and then go back and put the next layer on top of that now from there i'm going to pick my two design sheets for this tutorial i'm going to use this beautiful rose and the same looking one in the back. So I'm going to glue one in the front, one in the back. So add some more glue. Make sure it reaches all the edges. You don't want anything peeling up from the sides. So I'm going to adhere that to the front. So by the time you finish doing this, this heart shape should be pretty thick. It's three cardboard, I mean cardboard, cardstock pieces and two paper, design paper pieces to the back. So it should be fairly sturdy. And that's what we want. We want it to be sturdy. I'm getting glue all over my fingers there. Okay, so nice and good. Now while we wait for this to dry, I am going to get my clothespin and alter that just a little bit. So I'm gonna set that right here on the side. I'm going to get my clothespins, which I have right over here. Oops, there goes my hot glue gun. And I'm going to paint it. I don't like the um, the brown look to it. I want it to be kind of like a whitish color. So I'm just going to get a paper plate here. I don't want to get my, my thing dirty. I used acrylic paint before. Now I'm going to try this one. I haven't used this one yet. It's a Martha Stewart glitter paint. I don't know how dark it is. Maybe I'm, I'm going to have to go back through it again because it won't cover very much. It's super pretty though. So I'm going to, yeah, no, you see it's just translucent. So that's not going to work. Let's see. I have this paint right here, which should be white. And yeah, that's better. So now I'm going to paint all of this clothespin, back side and front side. And 
him in the between. There we go. There we go. Get it all in there. Now I didn't put very much paint on my plate because well, I'm going to probably do two coats with this because it's not completely, completely covering it the way I would like. Okay, y'all, I'm back. But, I yeah. got my heat tool now. Now, um, I am going to go grab my heat tool. My so that tool. way you can dry um, a little quicker. It is so I can go ahead and give it a second coat. So I'll be right back. There we go. And you, you can honestly leave the clothes pin the way it is. I just like the look of a whitewash type of look on it and I'm going to also add some glitter to it and you'll see right now what I mean. Okay so I'm gonna go get some more paint and oops and go back and paint it one more time and get it a little bit more of a white color. You see that? That looks a lot better. Get it in between those crevices get the sides here. Now to me when Tamika did this it made the the clothespin looks so pretty. It's like from now on, anything I do with clothespins, I'm going to have to paint them. I I really like the way it looked better than having it brown, unless if whatever's going to be on it is going to be a brown color. So then that would make sense to me. So now, get it in there. And go back with my, oops, that stuck to my finger. Go back with my heat tool. Now I'm wondering if after I go back with my heat tool, if I do that glitter paint, if it would be okay. So now heat tool again. Nice and dry, you don't want it wet. about dry right there now the next step I am gonna do now be careful when you do that because this is metal so it will be hot I am going to get some craft bun glue and spray it and sprinkle on some fine extra fine glitter that's in the color like pink I got picked this this up both of these up at Walmart so now I'm just gonna spray it and make sure I put just a little bit of glitter on there gives it a nice little shimmer to it I don't know if you, there you go you see really cute and go back in with my heat tool and I'm going to repeat this on the other side and I know it's probably going to get covered by the heart but honestly it, it does come out like you can actually see the difference between you having glitter on your stuff or not so now spray it again and go back in with oops the glitter we got too much on there kind of like tap it you can tap a little bit some out and go back in with the heat tool one more time okay y'all i just realized my mic was not on me so i'm not sure if you really heard me very well um, so I'm going to go back and do <laughs> say what I did. Um, I just repainted it and I covered it with this craft bond spray uh, on both sides, sprinkled it a little bit with the glitter and went back in with the heat tool on both ends so that way the glitter can adhere to the clothespin. Sorry about that. Again, new, newbie at this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this aside now and I'm going to get my heart. It should be really nice and hard now, really dry. And you can either leave your heart as is, or you can kind of whitewash it. I mean, I know Tamika did a little bit of whitewash on hers, and it looks so pretty. Now, I've never used this paint before with my stuff, so I'm going to try and see how that looks. I'm just going to add a tad bit of water to, oops, to the, um, work to this right here, to this paint. Get a little water down. Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. 
I think it might need a little bit more water. Let me add a little bit more. Da -da -da. There we go. It's okay if this got wet. It's going to get wet anyway. Okay, there we go. Let's see how that's going to come out. Okay, so you're going to get your heart and you're just going to paint across it with a little bit of your white translucent paint. See how you can still see the design paper through it. It's just not as bright and bold colors. Kind of gives it a little shabby feel to it. I think it looks so pretty like that. Yeah, I like the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my heat tool, make sure it dries up. And if I feel as if it needs another layer, I'll go ahead and do that, which I think I will. You can still see the design paper. It's a little bit on the lighter side. So I'm gonna get my paint again and go through that. Now I think I, the, the streaks and lines give a little bit more dimension to it as well. Okay, heat tool. And I'm gonna repeat the process to the back. So get my paint and water here. Like as you can see, it really didn't even require a lot of paint, just enough to get the job done. Go through that. There we go. Now I'm going to get my heat tool. There we go. Now you might push down on it just to make sure everything's still adhered, which it is. Really nice and pretty. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing I did to the clothespin. I'm going to do the same thing to the heart. I'm going to spray it with the adhesive and just sprinkle a little bit of glitter on there because I like some glitter on my stuff. You can never go wrong with glitter in my opinion. But just a little, not too much. A little bit too much is, doesn't really, the too much glitter doesn't go a long way. Just to give it a little shimmer. A little shimmer and shine there. There you go, you see? And repeat it in the opposite side. You don't even need that much adhesive either, just a couple of little tiny sprays. And sprinkle that glitter on there. And last time with the heat tool. Go. there you have it there is your heart now I'm gonna set this aside move this out of the way do not need this anymore now my hand your hands will get dirty it's fine now really quick while this still settles in let me share with you the paint that I got now this is a watercolor paint the last time I used acrylic paint and it was a little bit too bright but I think that this actually worked really well it's a white uh, Dollar Rowley watercolor it's, it came in a pack of all different colors so I just grabbed the white one I thought it came out really really nice now let me disconnect my heat tool and let's go ahead and put our glue gun back into action and let's get all the materials that we're gonna need while the glue gun heats up let me let you know what we're gonna need we're going to need some trim any flowery trim that you might have I picked this up at Hobby Lobby um, and just a bunch of little, it looks like little daisies. So you're gonna use a little bit of that. You are also going to need, or oh, I used these um, poppy little flowers. So I have two packs of these. I'm gonna use like about two or three of those. And then I'm also gonna use some roses. And I'm not too sure what colors to use just yet, but I have a these pink stickers. Um, these are from the paper studio, Le Petites. I think I showed you this on my haul. So I have blue, I have purple, I have these pinks, I have this burgundy, which I think I'm gonna use that. 
these off-white pearl colors and then these light pink so i think i might use a combination of these right here we'll see what happens after that you also are going to need i picked up these oh my gosh where did i put them oh they're there um these word beads from michael's these word beads from michael's they have different little sayings like special crazy make beauty so i'm going to be using those as well and the last thing you would need are some flat back pearl stickers or adhesive which i will add at the very very end okay so first things first i'm going to adhere some of the trim and i think last time i used about maybe three flowers worth just enough to kind of go across the you know the side of the heart so just like that three Get my scissors and cut right there do not need that anymore and i'm going to get my glue gun and glue that just right there so get my glue lined right across just like that and get my trim and go ahead and stick it on there now be careful if it's lace or you know trim it does go through it so be careful not to burn yourself. I know I made that mistake. So there you go, just like that. And the next thing I'm going to get are my poppy flowers. I am going to get, mm, since these are gonna be colored, I'm gonna get two of these white beige ones. Oops, two, not three, Elizabeth. And one of these. And I'm just going to make like a collage of flowers right here in the corner. So I'm going to say, let's see, put some glue on this flower right here at the middle and adhere it right there. And I'm gonna get this one, kind of put it right here. Some more glue in the middle, put it right there, just like that. And I'm going to get this orange one and probably paste it right in the middle. So get it right there in the middle. Right there. Now, let's see which colors would actually go better with this collection. You know? These two pink or maybe the burgundy one. I don't know. I'm thinking here. This orange one is throwing me off. So it's okay. I'm going to take that one off and replace it with another white poppy. And you see, this is a process I take. I, I do it. I don't like it. I redo it. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how you all do your stuff too. So and now i guess i'm going to there's a lot of white i don't want any more white flowers so i think i'm going to go in with this pink right here and let's see hmm no not that one nope don't like the black okay i guess i'll just go ahead and go with this burgundy and this pink, just like that. What do y'all think? I think it looks pretty good like that. Okay, so now these are stickers and I'm just, I don't like just sticking them on there. Um, so I am gonna add hot glue to the end of it and go ahead and glue that there. And this pink one, I'm just gonna tuck in right in there. So, put that in there and tuck it right underneath the petals of the burgundy one. Just like that. Take out all this glue string. And I think maybe another burgundy one can actually fit in there. What do y'all think? I think that would look kind of cute. Right there, just like that. No. Yeah, we'll just leave it like this. Too many flowers. Or maybe a light pink one. Took that under there. 
or maybe off to the side. Yeah, I think I like that. So I'm gonna put glue right here. So you see, you can always like play with your flowers and see how you like the way, you know, this collage works out of the flowers, but I like the poppies in the back. It gives it a little bit of a nice toned down look to it. There you go. I like the way that came out. I really like the way that came out. Yay! Okay, I was getting scared there. Now to pick out a word, word bead, and I'm j you can just add it to right here, right on top of the trim. I'm gonna choose beauty. Put some glue on the opposite end. The opposite end is gonna have another word though, so you're gonna have to pick and choose which one you wanna do. And I'm just gonna adhere that right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get some flat back pearls to glue on to it. Give me one second. Okay, I'm did not get flat back pearls. I decided to get a little bling in there. So I got these. These are the gem these are gemstones from the paper studio and I am just going to snip off a few and add them on to my project just like that. It gives it a nice little shabby chic touch to the end project. So I'm going to put another one like there and maybe I'm going to put another one down there in the bottom corner and we will be done with that part put this down right like right here maybe there you go isn't that cute oh my gosh I really like the way it came out so you see how you can still see the paper, but it's not as bright as it would be if it were like this. So it kind of gives it a little shabby look to it. Um, and the back just looks just as pretty with the glitter. Now the last step is to adhere your clothespin and your heart together and you will be done. So now I'm just going to get hot glue and get a good decent amount on your clothespin. And adhere, whoops, adhere the heart right in the middle. Make sure that the point of your heart is in the middle of your clothespin and everything else will land in place. So there you go. Ain't that pretty? Hopefully I made some sense in how I did this and put this together. Again, I am going to link Tamika's um, tutorial down below. Um, but I'm glad you guys tuned in to another one of the create your stash um, episodes for this playlist that I'm trying to create here. And there you go. This is the altered heart clothespin, all nice and glittery. Look at that. That looks so pretty. And that's just the back. Okay. So this is a front. Again, we added three flowers, super, super cute. And of course, I added the word beauty because I thought this came out so cute. Hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Big hugs. Bye.